Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. We have Scrappiness is Happiness for the next block. And first, let's do it's Blue Jeans Day and it is Santa's List Day. So <laughs> first of all, for your blue jeans, do you, if you have a blue jeans quilt, I have never done one. My mom, who doesn't really sew, I mean, she can, but she doesn't like to, so she rarely has, but she collected jeans, she told me once, to do a blue jeans quilt, but then she never did it. So I'm like, okay, well, I've never done one, but if you have, share your blue jeans quilt today in the group over at Quilt Along uh, with Pat Sloan or at my website today at the end of the blog post. And it's Santa's list. So tell me what quilting thing, it has to be a quilting thing, is on your Santa's list. It can be a fantasy thing like building a new studio on your house. Uh, it could be just getting, you know, an upgrade to your machine, of course, which would be a big thing, whatever. So that's a fun thing for today. It has to be quilting or it won't get approved. Okay, so remember that. Um, all right. We have the Scrappiness is Happiness block and it is Lincoln Log Day. So we're gonna go to the other side of the table and talk about my fabric a little bit. And then when we come back, we're going to do a tidy up challenge. Let's go. Before we look at the fabric for the Lincoln Log block, which I love that name, by the way, we had Lincoln Logs as a kid. They're so fun, they're so fun. So I wanna tell you about the quote behind me because a couple people have asked, more than a couple, many of you. So there is uh, the quilt from the Layer Cake book. And what I did, let me show you the quilt in the book, uh, which is called the Banana Quilt, because <laughs> they were all named sort of like Banana Cake. Uh, so there's the quilt. But what I did was, it has sashing, but what I noticed for me is like this center part here where it tends to, it looks like it was kind of radiating out from that unit because they were all together to make uh, that shape and then they made that shape over here again and so what I did is added just a little extra cornerstone in uh, this spot to sort of accent the radiating part of it and then up in the green so I added a square in the green and that then I then I did the colorations you see this is all red this was from a layer cake um, from whenever I did this and they had red, green, gray, uh, down to cream. So I did the red radiating out here and the green radiating out there. And that's how that got that look. So it is the same quilt. Um, I don't know if I did another row of it because this is square and that's rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I did one more row. So I did also did one more row with this this particular quilt to get it to be a little bit more rectangle because I needed it to be longer. But this is awesome. I mean, I would love to do this quilt again. Okay, so that is the quilt behind me uh, and where you can find it. And I always link it in the description box under the video every single time. Whatever quilt is hanging behind me is always uh, listed there so that you can find it. It says quilt hanging behind me. <laughs> So that's this one. All right, so the scrappiness is happiness. We're on the Lincoln Log. And there are two Lincoln Log blocks. And she says in the pattern to do the second one, they're just, they're very similar, but you know, this so it really doesn't matter <laughs> which one, but it is the second one that she did. And the reason why I think uh, Lori did two blocks is so that when she put together the full quilt like this, it gave a little bit more variety. So a little, you know, a little bit more interest to it to have two different shapes rather than a re repeating shape. So it looks a little more random. Plus she rotates the blocks. And so it gives it a much more random feel to the full quilt of that block. Okay, so I am using that one fabric collection. Remember I've got, got my bin and then I'm adding in pieces from my my own you know like collect things that i've collected over the years so this time i went looking for yellow to start the center and i had this sort of um coffee fabric words and not very much somebody must have sent this to me and it's washed i can tell it was pre-washed uh, you know they must have sent it and it's i love it so i had to cut uh, the portion out that had a latte and Americano would also have macchiato things that things that I actually drink So I cut those out for this center. Let me just show you the block again So they're the words that I cut out and then I had to build around so as I was building around 
I wanted to be sure that it felt a bit random, but you know, I'm not working with a lot of colors. Uh, I have yellow, that darker blue, the medium, medium blue, teals, and white. So those are really only colors I'm doing. So let's, let's take a look. With this in the middle, I was looking at, you know, what other things do I have? So I was going through and picking and kind of going front to back, uh, you know, not front to back, top to sides, there's the words, uh, top to sides, so that I did some darker like this on the top and the bottom. And then I switched, I switched over to the yellow and I have a whole lot of yellows and these are not real wide strips. So once again, I didn't want to use the wide prints. You could, it would give it a different look. It's not a bad thing, but I decided I would go for the, um, the ones that were smaller scale print. Then I added in this that I've added to the whole collection. So I'm going to use this up. I think this might be all I have of that piece of fabric. And so I will be using that up. I think I'll However, I put it on one of the sides here. Then I went hunting around for something else that felt like this and came up with this fabric. Once again, this is all I have, so I'm gonna keep it in the bin and see if I can use it up. That will be fun. All right, so what else? Then, let's see, I was going for some more blues. So I have, I had this blue, and then I was thinking of using the actual background blue in here because it would then be, there's, a, there's another fabric around it. It is one of the wider ones. I thought, oh, it's not too exciting, but I'll incorporate it in. So that was my first thought there was to incorporate that in. Um, and I also had at one point thought about doing maybe a light up here like this. So I was thinking like that. And then the outside, I went for lights. I want for the more the the turquoisey stuff. Um, where was that? Yeah. So I think once here. Anyways, I think I'm on the wrong sides, but you'll see. I went looking around, found another print that I owned. So I brought that in, and then a couple more lights. So let me show you the block again because I'm going to show you what I sw I ended up switching out. I kept the pieces so we can see how what I did made a change. So this is what I ended up with. But originally I had thought about having this strip up here and this strip up here. And, and uh, what I decided is I didn't really want that lighter blue. I wanted to go ahead and keep that, keep it more the teal, the darker, just to keep, they're, they're basically the same background color on these two and it's just different images. So I'm happy with that. And I also kind of like it that this one's longer and shorter, so it doesn't feel, it gives that nice motion. And then I decided that if I left this blue like the background, it might feel like a hole in the block because it's the background fabric. And so I decided to take that out. Plus it didn't have a whole lot of interest. So I put the word text in, which I'm much happier with. And so that's how this block uh, ended up evolving and now I will keep some of this blue in here and like I said I will keep this one in the bin so now those will be added in and available for the rest of the blocks and I'll try to to incorporate them into a couple of more as I go along so this looks really good up here with everybody else let's see ta-da yeah I like it on my website today I'll have a front photo of it so you can see the whole thing. All right, so our tidy up challenge, I'm gonna give you a tiny one and then a larger one, which I am actually going to do here on the video. So the tiny one is get your pin bowls or even your pin cushions or your little jars or whatever that's open and pull this stuff out and get rid of all the fuzz, dust it. Because, oh my goodness, there's a lot of dust in this thing. My larger tidy up challenge is to clean out a bin, which I did for the Hometown Charms. And so let me show you what I did. So after I filmed uh, the other day, that's what I was wearing, uh, I decided that I needed to go and empty this bin out because I, this is the current Block Wednesday Hometown Charms. And I need to move this out so I can put the uh, Sweet Childhood Memories stuff in here but I need to figure out what to do with this. And so you might have the same issue if you keep everything for a project together. So get your bin and we'll do this together. I have the quilt here and I still don't know what I'm gonna do for backing because I really don't want to buy any and I have a bunch of 
options I have to look at. But anyways, let's see what we got. So in this bin, I have fabric and paper. So all of this goes in recycling. So all the paper that goes in the recycling. So I don't need that. And let's see, for the fabric, just pull out. First, let me just show you, whoops, let me just show you what I had left of the pink because there was not a ton, uh, which is good. And I've got some strips, some other strips. These are all sort of smaller pieces. They're totally usable. So I think they're all gonna go into the charity. This one was a tiny bit bigger. Uh, so a tiny bit, I mean, it's probably close to a fat quarter. Yeah, probably close to a fat quarter, not you know cut exact, but that's probably about the amount. It would make a cute pillow to go with, along with that quilt, but I'm not sure I wanna do that. Although it is pretty, I don't know. That'd be pretty on a pillow that, say so I've got a weird thing though. Do I even have a total spray? So I have to get, now I have to get into it here. There's one, see like that. Let me see, like see this is right at the edge. And that one's also, I'd have to cut it off right at the edge. And so I have actually up here, one spray that I could do, this one here. I could do as a pillow. That would be so pretty, wouldn't it? So maybe I'll keep this and something else for a border with it. Uh, but then all of this will go into the charity stuff. So then what do I have? Oh, I have an orphan block. <gasps> pineapple. I have a pineapple orphan block. And another pineapple orphan block. I think what I do, I picked a different color top or something. Why do I have two of those? One's in the quilt. Uh, or did I put, no, oh, I put the turquoise one in the quilt, not the pink one. So it's like I have a pineapple quilt already started here. What to do, what to do? Because I was thinking, I don't know what I would make, that, how I would do that. <gasps> but scrappy, maybe. Okay, so these are going to go on the think pile <laughs> over there. I have, let's look at the, let's look at the smaller pieces. For, oh, I have this too. Oh, good grief. So here is more, here's another orphan block or a parts block. I did two sailboats. I remember doing two sailboats. So that'll go in the parts center. And then these are all pieces. I mostly have square triangles, cutaways. Is that fabric? Just like random fabric, yeah. Those are, those are half square triangles. But the random fabric stuff will go into the uh, charity stuff. I don't need to keep all that. These are, these are all blocks. Okay. So blocks over here. This is the charity stuff. This is small, small, small. Go over with that pink over there. And so I've got piles, piles, piles that we're working on. That can come out of the way for the recycle. Okay. So in here, now I've got my color. So if I'm gonna keep this, this, then I have to make something around it. And I'm thinking, I have a good bit of this burgundy here that I could do for the back of the pillow, unless I wanted to piece the back, which is also possible. But I could put this around it. So maybe these two will be saved and I will think about doing a pillow. Or I could do a pillowcase even. So that'll be a project that goes over with the pineapples and stuff and the part center stuff. All right, so oh, there's this another small piece. These are the smaller scraps. Okay, I've got some green. I'm gonna keep this green dot because you know, there's not a ton of it, but there's, it's always good to have a green dot. <laughs> all right, yeah. And I like these greens because it gives me a little bit, I'm gonna keep all the greens because I tend to have a certain subset of green right now and that's not it. And so I want to expand. All right, so this is a smaller piece, not that much of this. So that will go in the charity pile here. And then I really like these shades of, these two shades of teal. Also, again, not something I have a lot of. There isn't much here, but I'm going to keep those. I'm going to put the lights. I think pretty much all the lights are gonna go in the charity. I have a ton of lights, as you've seen with the sweater weather block. I really don't need to keep the lights. There's just, you know, so much you can do with. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put 
um, make a second charity. These are like a little bit bigger. These are sort of small cuts of charity. So we'll do small, small pieces and then the bigger pieces. I'm also going to put the taupe better, you know, the taupe um, tulips. All right, what do I have? Here's this sort of pink. This was very interesting. I don't know that I used any of that. Maybe I did. Oh, I made, made that sailboat background, but then I didn't use it. I still think those look like carrots. <laughs> I can put that on the pile. All right, I have, these are the kind of the, there's some small, really small pieces that go in the small pile. Uh, that's fairly small too. Go in the small pile. Pink dot. I have a lot of pink and I have not been doing much with the pink. So I think, I don't know, the dot, I always like keeping a dot. Okay, put that on the charity pile. These um, peach kind of tones, they're kind of cool. There's not much of this one. And I, I don't really need right now. Let me just talk about this. You know, the other thing I do is cut things into the two and a half inch squares. And those bins are pretty full and I need to sew some things up. You know, I have the aqua one and as soon as the sweater weather and the uh, little um, Christmas baskets from, I mean Christmas, yeah, the Christmas presents from Holly Jolly Box, uh, or the Jolly Box, sorry. <laughs> as soon as those are done, then I need to dig into another color set for the two and a half inch squares, but those bins are pretty full. So I'm going to let those smaller things go over to charity now because I have, I can do more. I can do more. I can do something else. So these, these two, I'm going to look and see what I have in the oranges. And if I have similar stuff already, I will put those in the charity. It just depends. If, it, if they're kind of unique, I won't. These greens, although I love them, I tend to have a lot of this kind of acid, lighter acid greens. That's why I want to keep the darker ones. I tend to have a lot of light ones, but I'm going to look at it first here. I'm going to look at those first and decide what do I really have. The ribbon, okay, recycle, wonder clip, keep that over here. Okay, and then the last two things in here are the rest of the background that I had and that will go in my lights and then this pink and once again i'm going to see if i really need to keep this pink i'm going to put it here i'm going to look in my pink bin and if i really have other things very similar and i'm just going to give this to the the charity group so they can make quilts oh all right so this this is what i'm reviewing or keeping so there's some of these will be not kept they're just going into review I have the pink that I think I'll make a pillow with this, which will be perfect. Then I have the part center um, with, I need to think about, oh my goodness, doing this look again, because I just love them so much. These little chubby pineapples, oh my goodness. Would they be too much for our March block a day? Would that be too much for one block a day? I don't know. I don't know, I got two already, so you know, I'm ahead. And uh, <laughs> the sailboat is here. So I'm gonna put that over there. And then I have definitely, well, both these piles, both of these piles, the smaller scraps and then the bigger, uh, the bigger chunks. Okay, so that bin now is ready for me to put in the next block Wednesday. And so I can put it over there on my shelf and this is all set to go. Uh, so if you have a bin, do that today. Get a bin cleared out, figure out what you're doing with the fabric. If it's going back in your stash, get it in your stash by color. Uh, if it is going to your charity or your friends, because you know they'll use it if you aren't going to, get that done today and uh, fill that basket up with the next project, our Block Wednesday. <laughs> that felt good. It felt good to have that bin done. I hope you do a bin today or at a minimum, your pin jar. Show us your jeans quilts what's on your quilting Santa list, and make your scrappiness is happiness block. It's a busy day. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.